guys! So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this jumper inspired by Wild Flax Couture. You've probably seen this one around on the internet. It's probably been lurking around in a few places. Since a few celebrities have rocked it, like Taylor Swift, this do-it-yourself is so easy and it looks just like the Wild Flax Couture one. This one just has a little bit more texture on the heart, but it's still just a little bit, so it, only, it still looks just as expensive and store-bought. It doesn't look like you made it yourself. This jumper is only $10 compared to the 108 Wild Fox Couture is, so it's definitely, definitely worth it, and it's so much fun to make. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and stay tuned on how to make your own jumper. I'm just going to forewarn you guys now. A lot of the videos when I was uploading this got corrupted, and they won't change out of corruption. So I'm going to have to verbally describe some things to you, and it might like jump from one clip to the next. I'm very sorry about that. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will get back to you immediately. I'm really sorry. I do apologize for that. I'm trying my best to fix it and help you guys as much as possible. You are going to need a pencil, a heart shape stencil. What I did was went on Microsoft Word, went on clip art, found a heart shape design I liked, and then enlarged it so it fit the entire page and then printed it out. You're going to need scissors to cut out that design. You are going to need newspapers, which are absolutely essential. You need them. They're necessary. Do not forget the newspapers. You're also going to need a brush of some sort. And then also a bowl, kind of bucket looking thing. I just used this thing from Dairy Queen, the little tin can. Oh, it's not a can, but the little ice cream plastic thing. I don't know, I'm recycling. My boyfriend and I went and got Dairy Queen before I filmed this video, so I'm recycling it. And then you're going to need Mod Podge. And what Mod Podge is, it can be found at any of your local craft stores. You can go to Michael's or Joanne Fabrics, and if you go there, I definitely recommend going with the coupon because you shouldn't need to pay full price for anything there. And what it is, is a glue adhesive. So the one I have is specifically made for glitter because I am using glitter in this tutorial. And it is also a glossy finish. So if you don't want a glossy finish, you can get matte finishes. You don't even have to get a glitter one. You can get an all-purpose one. You can get whatever you want. I just wanted the glitter ones because it was specifically for this wild box design. And then the last thing you're going to need is glitter. You can use any color you want, but I'm using red since it resembles the wild box shirt the most. And you can use whatever you want, like I said, and it's up to you. Also, how can I forget? You kind of need a shirt. I'm using a white long sleeve jumper. You can use whatever. You can use a t-shirt, crew neck. Like I said, I'm just trying to go for the closest wild box resembling. So I am just using a white jumper. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just cut your heart shaped stencil out. Simple as that. I like how this tutorial is starting out. Nice and easy. And then all you're going to do is fold the sleeves back on your shirt and line up where you want your heart to be. And once you figure out where exactly you want your heart to be, trace it. Make sure it's definitely defined and you can see it. And it's a very, very, not dark where it's like a charcoal kind of color because you want to make sure you can cover it up, but you don't want to make it so light where you can't see it at all. Make sure you try to keep your edges as clean as possible because you're going to be going over with glitter and glitter can't always be exactly perfect. And then what you're going to want to do is stuff some newspaper underneath your shirt. You cannot skip this step. This step is absolutely crucial to the shirt because the glue will soak underneath and stick to the other half. So you definitely, definitely, definitely need newspaper. This part got cut out, but I'm going to be using a part from when I went back for day two and show you guys just how to at least apply it so you guys have a general idea, even though there's glitter already down. So this is how I said it might get a little jumped around and crazy. But all you're going to want to do is mix about one-third Mod Podge and about a good majority of it glitter. If you want it less glittery, then less glitter, obviously. You can always make more, add more, all that good stuff. But I recommend either doing half and half, but you kind of want more glitter. So just a little bit of Mod Podge and definitely some glitter. But if you notice your glitter is not sticking, you do know you have to add more Mod Podge. And then all you're going to do is mix it all together and dip your brush in and paint. Make sure you stay in your heart-shaped stencil. You do not want to go outside the lines. And if you do happen to go outside the line, take your finger right away before it dries and clean up the edge of it. And once you do get towards the edge, just tilt your brush and you can see, you can just go on the other side and make it like a pencil kind of drawing. You guys know what I'm talking about when you just trace the heart. Just do that then as well. As you can see, it kind of turns like a pinkish, whitish kind of color and has puddles. Make sure you cover everything. You don't want anything left out. 
you can always go over it without a problem. So then I let that dry for about an hour and then I came back to check on it and see how much of it still needed to be filled and then I refilled it and after I got it to a nice decent amount on it I left it and then I came back the next day so I waited the full 24 hours and came back to it and some spots were still there so I definitely needed to fill those in and all you do is you can either create the same mixture that you had already or you can just cover your other one from the night previous and put some like aluminum foil on it and it should be okay and I just made a new batch because I had so much of it left over and you just fill in all the gaps I just went completely over it again just because why not you can all never right, have so are, too much um, glitter and two, too much Mod Podge I mean it's just gonna stick on the there longer heart. so what difference does it make I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial finished, if you have any questions please let me know once again, I do really, really apologize for the clips being cut out. I'm so sorry. It's not All my right, fault. So it's my cameras. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!